Hi everyone! It's August 31st and it's vlogist the 31st, the very last day. It's been a really awesome month. Life got in the way for a few of the days and I wasn't able to upload every day, but I certainly did try my very best to um, be vlog vlogging every day. It was a lot more frequent than I'd been used to, so. But it was a really good experience and I found a lot of wonderful channels that I wouldn't have um, likely found otherwise. So I'm really gr grateful to Fluffy Nomo for initiating the vlogist and look forward to the next one. Hopefully I'll be able to, to do that at that time as well. So um, I just wanted to thank everyone that found my channel through Vlogist and subscribed and watched my videos and commented. Very nice to have you here and I look forward to keeping up with your channels and following your journeys as well. And so I figured I'd close out Vlogist with a little bit of a story because mostly my channel is following my 100 pound weight loss journey but I figured I'd sneak a little story time in under the wire. Um, when I was in my early 20s and had just finished dental assisting school I was walking along the side of the road, the busy downtown part of Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, and just tripped on the curb and fell and my arm was straight out trying to break my fall. And as a result, my shoulder got dislocated. And so I, it was so painful, so painful. I don't know if any of you have had that happen before. Comment below if you have. I kind of tried to get myself picked back up. I was really disoriented and went into a store that was close to the road and they called an ambulance for me and the ambulance came and got me on a like a morphine drip right away because of the pain and they brought me to the hospital and put my shoulder back into place but as a result because of breaking my fall I got what's called a ganglion cyst. You can see it there jets out from my wrist like that and they can develop a, as a result of trauma or impact and it's basically just like a little cyst sac inside my wrist and I also have one in the back of my knee they call them baker's knee and it makes it difficult to fold my leg over all the way like if you were doing child's pose with yoga anyway so it developed over the years and has gotten bigger and bigger and bigger and I've seen the doctor and they've sent me in to get it drained but because it's um it's filled with extra synovial fluid uh, if you drain it then it just will fill back up again so I would actually have to get surgery to get the entire capsule of the cyst removed so I just periodically once I realized that all the the surgeons do is um, just basically poke it and drain it I had have started doing that just on my own every few months now I'm not saying that I recommend that if you have this situation that you do it on your own I've just I do have some experience in the medical field so um, I mean if you are gonna try something like that definitely make sure that your tools are sterile for safety and infection prevention but I'm just gonna try to get some footage showing me draining it so that you can see what comes out so if you're squeamish just happy vlogist and this would be the end of the video for you and if you're not squeamish then you're welcome to stay for the draining of the ganglion cyst I'll be back so I pick a spot. Now I don't obviously have means for numbing myself up. I don't have access to the good stuff. But when I pierced my own nose and eyebrow as a teenager, I just used an ice cube. So that's what I've done here. Numbed it a bit and I can feel myself going through the capsule layer. Got through the skin no problem. Um, and then you can tell you're through the capsule layer once it's not hurting anymore. And the resistance is removed. And it's just free in the middle of the capsule because it is thick. So I'm still just applying pressure. It's just about, let's see if it's through. There we go. So 
So that has just built up over a couple of months. Yay! So it'll really go down quite a bit in size, but it'll still be a bump shape a little bit because of the capsule that's still in there. But that's drained of synovial fluid now, and that will just heal over and then be ready for the next time it fills up again. All right, so that's done. So that always makes me sweat a little bit. I have to take my sweater off. But yeah, it's uh, come down quite a bit from where it was. Like I said, it'll just build back up again over the next month or so, and I'll just do it again. So hopefully that wasn't too bad for you. It really doesn't hurt that bad. It's not that bad. And if you've ever noticed that couch behind me, our very first car that we had together when we moved to Grand Prix, Alberta was a Cadillac DeVille. And once it wasn't working anymore, we had to get something else because it was like from the 70s or something. Mm, maybe 80s. Anyway, Alex kept the back seats and built a frame for it to turn it into a little couch for the kids. That is what we have down in the basement, which is still partially finished. We're still working on getting it all fixed up. So thank you for tuning in with me for the month of August for Vlogist. And um, stay tuned for my weekly updates, uh, which I'll be doing every couple of weeks. And then I'll also do my walk and talk with me series, as well as other fun little things that I put in every now and then. So thank you for watching. Be sure to like and share this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you find out when I've got all sorts of things coming out. Have a great day and we'll see you later. Bye. Thank you.